Around half of recent COVID-19 infections in Korea have resulted from religious activities. Taking that into account, the government will ban churches nationwide from holding other types of gatherings than regular services. Churches will also be mandated to keep track of visitors using QR code-based entry logs. Um ji has the details. The South Korean government will prohibit churches from holding gatherings outside of their regular services or offering food to worshippers. Even though the government is not designating churches as high-risk facilities, all small gatherings, events and catering except for regular worship services will be banned at churches nationwide. Also, the government will implement a QR code-based entry log system for churches across the country. Stricter measures and the mandatory entry log system will be adopted from 6 p.m. on July 10. The government has also classified activities according to their level of risk of infection. High-risk activities are those where it is difficult to wear masks and lots of droplets are generated during the activity. Also, they involve close contact with lots of people for a long time and the sharing of equipment with others. Dining out, exercising, singing and swimming are classified as high-risk activities. Activities with a medium risk are those where either it is difficult to wear masks or lots of droplets are generated. It involves contact with lots of people but for only a short time. Religious activities, any gatherings or events, going to the sauna or getting beauty services are categorized as medium risk activities. Low risk activities are those where people can wear a mask and not many droplets are generated. Also, there's not much contact with others and people can use personal belongings during the activity. Shopping, reading or studying, playing games and watching videos are included in the low-risk activities. The government is releasing the classification of activities according to their risk level so that citizens can better understand what the risk of COVID-19 is from activities they do in their daily lives. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.